In this session, we are going to discuss a problem that is the mixing period control problem application. So, what is the problem? So, let us discuss that one at first. So, here we are finding that a operator presses a momentary push button corresponding to the required operating period for one mixer. There is one mixer, so operator will press one respective push button and according to the push button whatever he or she has pressed the mixer will be on for a certain pre-calculated duration. During the mixer operation the push buttons cannot be operated that means when the mixer is on if you press the other push buttons which will drive the motor which will try to drive the motor with say other different durations then those push buttons the pressing will be ignored. Features, uh, features for four push buttons to operate the mixer for different time intervals they have got listed below. So, what are they? If P10 push button is operated then the mixer will be operated will be on for 10 seconds. In case of P20 it will be operated for 20 seconds. P30, P40 the mixer will go on operating for 30 seconds and 40 seconds respectively. So, this is the problem. At any time when the mixer is on for any amount of duration, if you press emergency stop switch, then obviously the motor will be turned off. That is the mixer will be turned off in that case. So, this is the respective problem. That is a mixing period control problem. So, how to implement this one? Okay. Now, let us go for this PLC wiring diagram. So, this PLC wiring diagram I am just proposing depending upon the respective accessories, depending upon the PLC model, this diagram can be changed. So, there is only one motor, there is a mixer a motor is there, there is one, one motor. So, that will be the output we are having and we are having this push button P10 to P40, four push buttons will be there and one stop buttons will be there. So, here we are having five inputs and here we are having only one output in this PLC wiring diagram. Okay. This motor can be operated with the respective voltages whatever required will be giving the respective supply to this motor to get operated. So, now let us go for one partial ladder diagram. In the partial ladder diagram, I am just giving you, giving you the hints that how the thing will take shape. That, that means we are having some memory variables we will be defining in our program. So, when the M1 memory variable is on, then we are having this on delay timer. There is a on delay timer and here the time has been mentioned as 3 seconds, but obviously in case of say 10 seconds, I will be making this one as 10 seconds. For the, uh, for the simulation, for the faster simulation, we have reduced this time uh, durations for the on delay timers. These time durations have got reduced, but obviously when we shall make it implemented practically, then depending upon these durations, the respective parameters are to be set to the uh, on delay timers. So, when this M2 is on, then this timer will be on. When this M3 is on, then this timer will be on after this T1 means it is the on delay timer. So, after 30 uh, seconds, the timer will be on. And when this M4 mode is on, then this timer will be on for say 40 seconds. And obviously, the parameter we should be writing here for 40 seconds accordingly. So, in this way, this is a partial ladder diagram. In the demonstration, I shall show you the full ladder diagram. Now, the, I, I require one update in this problem. The update here is that, let us suppose at first I have pressed this P10 and when the motor or when the mixer is in operation, I have also pressed say uh, P30 and P20 buttons. Then in my problem, what was told that when the mixer is in operation, pressing of other push buttons will be ignored, but I want to get the version 2.0 of the same application from your side. And what will happen? The duration will get cumulative. That means ultimately, if I press, if I start my mixer with pressing this PB10 push button, and when the mixer is in operation for 10 seconds, if I go on pressing this PB30 and PB20, then the mixer will remain on for 60 seconds in total. So, this is the update I am requesting you to get implemented at your end. So, at this particular phase, you can pause our video and try to implement our problem. I have shown you the partial ladder diagram. You can have your own logic. You can implement the problem same. 
but for the cross check and if you can do in that case obviously our practical demonstration is for you please watch our practical demonstration where you will be implementing the full ladder diagram and you shall explain that one again we shall explain the ladder diagram for mixing period control problem and also we shall simulate it to test whether the circuit is working fine or not in this mixing period control problem we have considered that we shall be having five different number of states and these states will be denoted by memory variables m1 m2 m3 m4 and n5 m1 means the mixing is being done with the 10 seconds mode m2 means mode is selected as 20 seconds m3 means mode is selected for 30 seconds and m4 means mode is selected for 40 seconds that means the the mixing is being done in this particular mode and stop mode means the emergency button or the emergency push button we haven't pressed or we have pressed so that will be denoted by this m5 so to denote five different states we are having five different variables m1 m2 m3 m4 for 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds respectively of the mixing period duration and the stop mode will indicate whether the emergency push button has been pressed or not okay now when the mixing period problem will go to m1 state when the push button for 10 seconds will be pressed and it is not in 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds mode and when the stop or emergency button has not been pressed then we shall go for this um, m1 that is the mode 10 seconds in this way we have drawn the other runs for m2 m3 and m4 so i'm just bringing them in front of you so that you can easily guess what is the logic so when the push button for 20 seconds will be pressed and it is not in 10 seconds mode not in 30 seconds mode not in 40 seconds mode not the emergency stop switch has been pressed or mode has is disabled then it will go to the uh, 20 seconds mode directly and when it will go to the 20 seconds mode in the meantime as i2 is a push button so that's why it will be released so when this i2 will be released then we are having this parallel path a latch is there which will provide the supply power supply to this m2 in this way we have done the same for our m1 m2 m3 m4 now when the stop mode will be selected when we are having the our stop switch pressed and that is also a push button and when the operate for 10 seconds so that means when the timer will be on and here these are nothing but the on delay timers we are having a separate video where you can go and you can uh, learn what is the different parameters and operations of on delay timer so those timers we have used and here they are having the respective uh, make contacts of those timers so this operator uh, this timer is not making the output on or this timer is not making the output on you know that in case of on delay timer depending upon the parameter passed after that duration after triggered the timer will be on after having this time elapsed so now in this way this is my stop mode will be selected accordingly so they are coming in the all logic now we are going for the mixing motor output so when this mixing motor output will be on when I'll, i shall be either at m1 state or m2 or m3 or m4 as they are connected by all logic so they are connected in parallel so this is the last four rounds are there so when m1 mode is on so that will trigger this timer that is the on delay timer it will be operating for 10 seconds but for the simulation purpose we have made we have made this one as 4 seconds it is 20 seconds we have made 6 seconds 30 seconds we have made 8 seconds for the faster simulation so that's why this 40 seconds here we have written only 10 seconds here. so in this way the ladder diagram we have explained now let us go for the simulation and we, we know that whenever we are having all these switches which are push button so we went to the block properties going for the simulation and we selected this momentary push button make and that has been done for i1 i2 i3 i4 and i5 and here also we have done the respective labeling of the inputs and outputs accordingly 
So when you shall do the practice also you should have to make this leveling for the better understanding. And another thing we have done that means here it is a long program so within one page it cannot fit. So this is a page break here. So that's why we have clicked here and have increased the pages vertically. So that's why initially it was by default one. So we have made that one four in this way. Okay, now let me go for the simulation now. Okay, I'm going for the simulation. So this I1, I2, I3, I4 are for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds and 40 seconds uh, request for the mixing operation. But they will be operating in this case 4 seconds, 6 seconds, 8 seconds and 10 seconds respectively. And this is my I5 that is also another, another push button and which is nothing but the emergency, emergency stop. So let me go for this I1. So now you see the M1 mode has been selected and here we are having this uh, Q1 is operating. Again I am pressing, you can find here, again I am pressing this one and you can find there it is counting up to 4. And when this counting is being done, when this counting is being done, so now if I click here, you see, when the counting is being done, if I click here, nothing is happening and also if I click this one, also the counting is being done accordingly. So I can show you again. You see, it is being counted. Now I am pressing this one for multiple times, but the counting is on. It is not getting reset. When it is on, if I press the other push buttons, nothing is happening because in the problem it was told that when it will be operating in a certain mode for 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 or 40 seconds, then if we press the other push buttons, then that will not leave any effect in the output. So let us go for this I2. So it is count. It is getting counted up to 6 seconds. So now if I press this one or this one, it will not work. So when I am pressing, I am going to the M2 mode and Q1 is on for 6 seconds. So similarly, when I shall go for this I3, I am clicking on this I4, I2, I1, nothing is happening. It is being continued up to 8 seconds for I3. So now when I am pressing this one, it is being continued. Now when I shall click on this emergency stop, it is getting stopped accordingly. Similarly for I4, it will be operated for 10 seconds. So if I press I1, I2, I3, then also it is not happening anything. If I press I4 again, also it is it is not uh, getting affected. So when it is in operation, if I press the stop, then this motor is getting stopped. So in this way, using simulation, we have tested that the circuit is working fine according to the given logic. Try to implement the same circuit with some other logic so that will bring a more better mean in your logical sense. So I am just scrolling once this uh, letter diagram so that you can find it out. You can pause the video and you can check that how the letter diagram has been made. Get some idea from here so that when some unseen problems will come in your practical life, in your career, you can work better on them. Leave your comments, any issues, any doubts in the comment block. We can do the needful communication accordingly. And thanks for watching this video.